I mean, if that's my opinion, I think I think Jordan Clarkson had a tremendous summer league. I think he was one of the top players, not only on the Lakers team, but but here at the Las Vegas Summer League. And so I loved uh, Jordan Clarkson's energy. I loved his enthusiasm for the game, and I loved Clarkson's ability to learn. He learned every set. He learned multiple options out of each set for other positions. Because now what Clarkson can do is tell people where to go on the court, and that's a sign of a point guard who's growing into the position. Mark, it was a struggle finishing for Randall in the first three quarters, and then things completely changed in that fourth quarter. You saw that he played some of his better basketball later in games throughout the whole week, but how did you summarize how that looked on the court tonight for Julius? I was proud of Julius. You know, in the first half, uh, there was a lot of contact out there, and, and a couple of his shots were right there, and then they rimmed out, but Julius stuck with it. He continued to work. The one thing about Julius Randle, he is always going to attack you, and he attacked every single time. And in the fourth quarter, his persistence paid off and helped carry us to the win. How would you summarize his week here in Vegas? The four games, obviously, you missed the first one. Well, I remember we were headed to a game almost a week ago, and, and Julius was not anticipating playing. And then he came to the front of the bus. He said, I just signed my contract. I want to play this game. And he could have very easily just sat that game out. But he went up and he got his shoes. He took a taxi back to the hotel. He got his shoes and he came to the ring. He played, and he was good. Yeah, you got to have your basketball shoes to play. But, but the contract had just come out of nowhere and, and it had been signed. So Julius came ready and he came ready tonight. He helped us get the win tonight in a major way. Julius said after the last game that one of the things that's been the biggest difference maker for him this summer league is that he felt like he learned more patience on offense, yeah. being able to read the defenses. Where have you seen him grow over that season? When Julius catches the basketball at the elbow or at the mid post, Serena, is all the other players on the court are almost like a swarm of bees. The defense is looking at him. He's got multiple sets of eyes just staring on what, what he's going to do. And now he's able to read it. I think initially, maybe in the first game, he attacked right away. But now he's letting everything develop, and, and Julius is finding open men, whether it's at the three-point line or whether it's cutting to the basket. Mark, how do you think his game can translate to the NBA level after what you've seen from him here this week? When I think about matchups in the NBA, who's going to guard Julius Randle? If you put a big bruiser type on Julius, Julius will go right around that guy. If you put a smaller man on Julius, Julius is going to take him down to the block and, and, and post him up down there on the block, use his jump hook, use his turnaround jumper, or his up and under move. How about defensively? What did you see from him? And how, how can that type of translate to guarding bigger guys, guarding wings? I think Julius is, this week and in the coming season, he's going to use his strength. I mean, there will be players that are seven footers that Julius will guard. He did that in college. And, and he'll do that in the NBA. Uh, against a tall, long player, he'll probably root him out. He'll use his, his lower body strength. And uh, you know, against a quicker player, he's already got the quickness. Mark, where would you prefer for Julius to get the ball if you had your perfect scenario for him? A few spots come into my mind. I think Julius can operate great from the elbow, from the mid post. I actually think, you know, it's funny. Um, Julius, late in the ball game, he wanted a 1-4 flat. That's what he wanted. He wanted the ball at the top with the ability to go right around his man. Now. We went a different direction. He still scored. We went, we went to a misdirection play and he, he scored on it. But that type of attitude and the fact that Julius wants the ball with 30 seconds left, the game on the line, that shows you what kind of competitor he is. Julius wanted the ball in that situation and he scored in that situation.